Hello out there and welcome to everybody who's interested in economics at the College of Lake County. My name is Dr. Stefan Mullinax and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the offerings we have for our department. Currently we have two key courses that we offer, Principles of Macroeconomics ECO 221 and Principles of Microeconomics ECO 222. Both of these courses are general education courses which form a very strong foundation for business and social science related fields. Both of these courses are also transferable to four-year institutions should you be looking for that option. Here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what each class has to offer. First, Principles of Macroeconomics, ECO 221 in the course catalog. So what is a macroeconomist study? We look at the national economy and the performance of that national economy. So we're gonna focus in this class on a couple of key areas. First, long run economic growth. How and why do countries develop? What are the factors that lead to progressive change in economies? Why is the US economy, for example, very different today in 2021 than we looked in say 1921? More of our focus in macroeconomics though is on the short run business cycle. What causes economies to fall into recession? What can we can do to promote periods of growth and expansion? So we're gonna be tracking the, the business cycle using some key economic statistics and key economic and current economic data as we move through this course. What are the effects of recessions and expansions? What are the causes of recessions and expansions? That's an important question we seek to answer in our macroeconomics course. Lastly, we're gonna introduce the importance and role that government and the Federal Reserve have in economic policy making and economic influence. So how does the government influence economic uh, the economy through its policies? How does the banking and what role do the banking and financial sectors play for economic performance? These are all big questions that we'll explore in our macroeconomics course. So you've probably heard a couple of buzzwords centered around macroeconomics, things like the business cycle, the ups and downs of our economy, gross domestic product, the inflation rate, the unemployment rate, recession, expansion, fiscal policy, monetary policy, especially fiscal policy recently when it comes to the COVID-19 response, the CARES Act of 2020 and the American Relief Plan of 2021, both big fiscal policy changes aimed at influencing our business cycle. In this course, we'll see how statistics like gross domestic product, the inflation rate and the unemployment rate are calculated and how they adjust over time and how they, what they tell us about the performance of our national economy. The second course is Principles of Microeconomics, ECO 222. What is microeconomics? But it is the study of how consumers and businesses make decisions under the conditions of scarcity, limitations that we face and why we ultimately choose to interact in our market-based systems. <clears throat> so consumers have decisions. How should we allocate our limited income? What is going to influence our decisions on spending on demand? Businesses, what goods should we produce? How many workers are we gonna hire? What quantity should we produce to maximize profit? These are all questions of importance that we can answer using microeconomics and the microeconomic perspective. So some key buzzwords centered around microeconomics you might've heard before, supply and demand. This is the core model, the chief tool that economists use to explain the interactions and fluctuations or changes in our markets. So for example, here we have the supply and demand for chocolate bars. And if the demand for chocolate bars increases, then we might expect the price to rise and the quantity sold to rise due to the higher demand. We can use this model to understand movements in most markets that we might want to analyze. Consumer utility, how consumers make adequate choices with their income. Revenues and costs for businesses and how they relate to profits versus loss. Perfect competition, monopoly, imperfect competition, the different market structures which businesses may have to operate under and which define some of the limitations to the decisions that businesses can make. So ultimately, microeconomics, how do we make the best decisions possible given the limitations that we face, the information that we possess, or the resources that we have to bear in the market? 
So why study economics? Well, one, it forms a strong foundation for a multitude of business-related courses, such as management, marketing, accounting, finance, and others. Economics and economic theories, the economic perspective can also be used to further your understanding of other social science uh, fields, more non-business related, things like history, the economic perspective on history, political science, psychology, and even sociology can be understand better, or at least in a alternative manner through the lens of economics and economic theories. It helps you develop a greater understanding of and appreciation for our national economy and our market-based economic systems. Economic courses foster an understanding of how the world works. Economics is all around us, present in every aspect of our lives. So knowing and understanding this can aid us all in making the best decisions we possibly can given our current situations. So what can you do with an economics degree? Well, the options are endless. It could be a gateway to any chosen career field, not just in economics, but elsewhere as well. Again, relatable to a lot of different fields where we can combine economics with a particular field of study. Not everyone who studies economics goes on to be economists. And so here's just a selection of some uh, famous people who have studied and gotten degrees in economics, people such as uh, Lionel Richie, singer-songwriter, Bill Belichick, Super Bowl winning coach for the New England Patriots, former President Ronald Reagan and former Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, John Elway, Steve Ballmer, Kate Blanchett, very, uh, very fine actress, and Paul Newman. All these and more have at times studied economics. Right? We can use economics in anything that you do. It's, an all, it's a field that is useful you know, for the rest of your life. If you have more questions about economics or economics courses or the offerings that we have, feel free to contact any one of our full-time faculty. Again, my name is Dr. Stefan Molinax. I'm the chair here. Uh, my phone number and email address, along with those of our other instructor, instructors, Tanita White and Vasumathi Raman, all of us are more than willing to answer your questions, to welcome you to the CLC, and we hope to see you in the fall. Thanks, everybody.